Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. Today I'm going to be telling you about my 3D printer. This is a Lulzbot AO101, which is supplied ready, assembled and configured, and calibrated to some degree. Uh, Lulzbot ship out of the UK as well as the US and Canada, so if you're in the UK it's a good option because you don't have to pay international shipping and wait for customs clearance and have it ultimately smashed to pieces by an international courier. So this arrived um, in about, I think it was two days after I ordered it. I ordered it late in the afternoon on a Monday. It shipped on Tuesday and I got it on Wednesday. And it only cost 18 US dollars in shipping for domestic shipping within the UK. The printer is based on a RepRap Mendel Max. And the entire printer is, um, of course, open source. And it uses open source software. So you can actually download all the pieces which uh, make up the printer, which are in fact 3D printed themselves. You can download those and you can print spare parts or you can print an entire printer. So let's have a closer look. So one great feature about this printer is the spool here which holds the filament. I've got ABS loaded, um, just over two kilograms is supplied with the kit. Um, it's got this excellent 3D printed stand which basically feeds the filament seamlessly so it never gets jammed or anything like that. It's fed down a tube to the extruder head. Let's just have a look inside. You've probably seen many 3D printers before on YouTube and so on. We've got a standard extruder and um, obviously we've got all of the stepper motors you'd expect. So uh, one here, one on each side and there's one just over the back so that controls the XYZ motion. The electronics are built into this box which is also 3D printed. It's got an SD card, micro SD card supplied and it uses Print Run, which is open source software for printing, which can read files from the SD card to uh, send the prints, or you can just load them up off your hard drive. The printer came supplied with a little 3D print, uh, which is an octopus, which was actually printed on this printer. Um, so you can see that it's working before it shipped, and also, I should say, was working when it arrived too. Um, also supplied are a full colour manual, which I've got in my drawer here which is actually, uh, you know, colour color pictures all the way through, the operating manual. There's also several other bits of paper, unpacking instructions and so on, and also comes with a tool kit. So you get one of these to remove prints from the print surface, um, sets of screwdrivers, spanners, a wire brush, a set of needle nose pliers, a number of other things. It's also supplied with two extra nozzles, comes fitted with a half mil nozzle and it comes with a 0.25 and a 0.35 for doing very fine prints you can print down to 0.1 millimeters so on the website it claims that they strapped one of these in the back of a van and drove on mountain roads and the printer still printed fine without skipping and also that they printed upside down so let's just do a normal print and then I'm going to do some stress testing So here it is, um, it's pretty good quality, don't know if you can even make out the layers uh, with this camera. This is using a half mil nozzle and a 0.4 mil layer height, so obviously it goes about three times finer than that if we use the fine nozzle. I shall put some better pictures on the website. So I've just kicked that off printing another octopus, we'll get it... Uh, about halfway through the print and then I shall pick the printer up, shake it all around and turn it upside down and see what happens. Okay, that print's well on its way, so let's all see, see what happens if I shake it all around. I can knock all the power cables out, we'll turn it upside down. Looks like it's printing fine. Apart from the ABS unspooling, 
think we're pretty good. Can't see any discernible skips there. We'll wait till the uh, prints up to the octopus's body and then we'll do that again. Alright, so moving up the print. Turn it upside down again. Does appear to be indeed printing upside down. Let's give it a shake. Oh crap. There goes the filament. But the printer's still printing. So I'll let that finish and then we'll. Um, Pop it off and have a look. Okay, so that's finished after me shaking it all around. Let's uh, just get that off the print surface. There we go. So I can't see any errors in that. I think it looks pretty good. Let's compare it with the uh, one that came with the printer. So, yep, that one's hotter, that's the one I've just printed. The one on the left is the one that came with the printer, so... I can't see uh, any discernible errors there at all after all that shaking and turning upside down, so that's looking pretty good. So if you'd like to see what I'm making with my 3D printer, have a look at their website, it's xrobots.co.uk. I'll be making pieces for my life-size Iron Man suit including catches for the chest and all the other pieces that fit onto a metal strapping system. Here are the hands in progress. I will also be making more humanoid androids like this one which is Android 11. If you'd like to see this android and the previous 10 you can see them on my website. The next generation of course is going to be 3D printed.